triple back loop <laughs> triple back loop and that is the way we're kicking off send it sunday this week emmy and the boys in the south of spain absolutely having it and they sound like they're having a great laugh aerial antics off the same wave yes i want to see more of that uh coming up in this week's show we're giving away an f2 board yes we are one of these beauties could have your name on it if you remember windsurfing tv uh, we'll also give it away on instagram but stay till the end for more on that we've got uh the son of uh, josh angulo landing his first back loop more on that in a bit but firstly we have to talk about the training diaries yeah the pozo training diaries are coming back i am actually still in Portugal right now but Pozo is warming up and I'm just looking at booking flights to go over there and cover the pre-build up. All the antics that you're used to seeing over the years. Yes the PWA is back in Pozo. Um, Ricardo Campello has just turned up and he's up to his usual antics, yeah. Some uh, some big moves getting thrown down, some big bails as well. Uh, and apparently he's working on his low push forwards. Yeah, low push forwards. That's apparently the thing to be working on. It's right, actually. If you can pull off push forwards off the small waves, you can do doubles and you've got the wave moves, you're in with a chance of the win. Who is going to win Pozo PWA this year? answers in the comments below pretty exciting stuff it's been so long since we've had an event there everyone is getting there slowly and surely seeing posts from a couple of riders mark Paré has actually just been here in portugal yeah mark Paré was in portugal um and he was going off starboard sack but still going off we had some small days as well when he left actually got better but when he was here he was ripping really was he's coming back from injury obviously didn't do cape verde but he's now in pozo um and load of the other boys but i'm not going to spoil it We'll have to wait for the training diaries for more updates on that. Um, if you've been watching social media this week, you will have seen this. Yes, is this the first foiling tack from a female? Yep, Jen Roberts. She could be. It looks like maybe. Just quickly touches down, but I'm going to give her it. I am definitely going to give her that one. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. Will the foiling tack be a thing of the future? Like people won't even talk about it. They go, yeah, well, that was a bad tack. You didn't foil through it. You know, we've seen Amado and the, and the rest of the boys all practicing it. I think we get, it's going to be a just a normal thing now um and the thing is when you watch all those videos on social media you start thinking hey maybe i should try this well i did anyway and also so did ivan yeah that's not his usual smile he is missing a little bit of a tooth <laughs> yeah foiling tax guys um they're not as easy as they look so here's ivan at uh, graph and water in the uk he goes up for the foiling tack he gets a bit submerged the problem was as he fell off the board bounces up smacks him in the chops oh, <laughs> oh shit I just lost my filling. Yeah, <laughs> knocked his tooth out. Poor fella. But he did say, Ben, we had to laugh. So they laughed about it. He is okay. Um, but the foiling tack is coming to a beach near you. Um, what else have we got? Well, I'll tell you what we have got. We've got a few of these. Yeah, this is Danny. Danny I sent this from Bonaire. The perfect, absolutely perfect body drag. He said, tips from Tonky Franz did him the world of good. Although if you follow that video through, the Willy Skipper tips might need some work. <laughs> spotted, spotted. Uh, but that is our first entry this week into the body drag competition. Have you not entered? You should enter because there's a chance of winning a new O'Neill wetsuit in the month of June. So Danny Danny is in there and that is a very solid effort. A big long foot to get back on, but plenty of speed. His arms are bent. It's looking good. Uh, uh, second entry this week into the body drag competition is AD over in Cape Town and this is from the drone oh very flash and a super nice body drag nice mate very nice uh, and then we've got Peter from La Nautique actually met these guys well him and uh, a few of the friends over in the Deffy Wind and he sent me this photo sequence and the first photo the setup looks spot on arms are bent getting his weight over the board you can see him getting ready. He launches into the body drag, but 
you can see it. For people who've watched my technique video, his arms get a bit stretched and he goes a bit further away and he can't quite get back on planing. But solid effort, mate, solid effort. It's in there, it's definitely in there. Uh, and then this next load of body drags, these are classics. These are from David Rowe on the south coast of England. Now it's a bit choppy on the south coast of England. <laughs> and it doesn't make for easy body drags, but he had a go with mixed results. Yeah, he had a go with mixed results. A few just stopping dead. You can see he's going in over the chop and he's looking to get off the board. There's a few problems. He already said it. He said, you know what, Ben, I watched the video, then totally forgot all the tips. Then young Bjorn last week motivated him again. He went down the beach and went out and tried, but he still went out of his head. But he said, looking back at the video, it has been a massive eye opener and he knows what he's doing wrong. Can you spot what he's doing wrong? I'm putting a few on now. Uh, the arms, the arms, get those nipples on the boom, the chin up there, get that up there. It's gonna be easier to get back on. Drag the front leg first. Just give yourself a little bit of room. When you jump off together, you come sometimes stop just dead. Um, but I love the effort. But there is one that I think we can claim as a body drag. Let me know if he can claim this one. David, check it out. Yes, <laughs> I did say in the video, quick one, a quick one and get back on. That was very quick. And the crazy thing about that body drag is he gets back on full speed, manages to hook a jive right off the shore. Look how close he is to the shore. <laughs> Pretty good job. Maybe he wasn't expecting to get back on so fast. Um, so yeah, some good little tips there. And maybe for you guys at home, motivate you to try in the body drag. But I would say my favorite this week comes from this bloke. Yeah, this is Martin from Holland. Absolutely flying. Now you're watching this and you're going, Ben, he's going quick to try a body drag. Um, well, Martin did say he was watching the videos last week, really enjoyed it. And he went out for this session on the slalom gear and wasn't thinking about the body drag. That is a laugh of uh, relief, yeah, a relief laugh, like, oh my God, that could have been so much worse. So the body drag saves the day. Don't forget, send your body drags in. If you wanna be in with a chance of winning a wetsuit, no guarantees what will win. It could be the best one, could be the best crash, could be the best effort. We might even draw it randomly. So you all have a chance of winning if you put your body drags in. Send it at windsurfing.tv. And we obviously have to thank the sponsors the mailing room.com yes still supporting send it sunday uh, and obviously a massive thanks to O'Neill wetsuits for putting up some prizes um we're gonna give away a board at the end as well so stay tuned we've also got uh, that back loop from uh, noah angulo the son of josh angulo but before we go there i think we have to go look at some surf bargains yeah surf <laughs> yes. yes, the Surfagans are definitely back for another episode. Just a couple quick ones here. Uh, and this one is sent in from Namibia. And this is Leon driving from Swakopmund to Valvis Bay. Now, Valvis Bay, obviously famous for its speed. He said it was a big scene back in the day. 1989, to be specific, said it was going off. That was his first car, the Beetle. Uh, got that North Sail stick. Uh, and he said he was living the dream. He's actually now living in Perth in Australia. And after a 15 year break from windsurfing, guess what? Yeah, he's back, he's back, and he's absolutely loving it. Uh, Pinaroo Point is his local beach. Maybe you know him. Um, give him a shout out when you see him. That is a tasty looking car. Uh, and talking of tasty looking cars, we got another one. Yeah, not much information on this one. 1985 in the Beetle, driving from uh, Houston, Texas to Corpus Christi. Uh, on the email it says Plunkett. So, uh, good set of kit there, Plunkett. Good set of kit. What's he got on there? Tiga, a Mistral, some of the big names for sure. Uh, and one last uh, Surfagen before we go. And this one is... 
Any guesses? What car is that? Come on, quickly. There's a few of you out there that know. I'll tell you what it is. That is a Hillman Imp. Would I have got that right? I actually would have, because my dad had one. He's always banging on about the old Hillman Imp. <laughs> What a legendary car. Look at the crew. Three of them. It's actually Phil, but it's not his car. It's his sister's Hillman Imp. He said he used to go up to the peaks uh, to uh, Rudford Lake. Said absolutely terrible place. Only worked in one direction. Gusty as hell. Cold. But they absolutely loved it. The car didn't though. Kept overheating. They had to stop at people's houses to fill it up with water. <laughs> What's on the roof? That's a Vinter Kestrel, and he said he hasn't got a clue what the other one is. Uh, but they had to upgrade, or he had to buy a car. In the end, he went for the old Carlton. Oh yes, Vauxhall Carlton. And this roof was fully loaded. Look at this thing. Any guesses? We've got a Tiga 290 on there, and we've got the classic of all classics, the Bic Electric Rock legendary so thanks phil for sending those in and talking of classic brand names in windsurfing we're about to give away a board yes because f2 are giving you a chance to win a board how do you do it well in the comments below you just have to put what board you want to win easy so f2 and then well there's a couple of this sunset that's back in the range this year i think barracuda rebel rave um and there's there's obviously a few others you can check out on the website or go on there Instagram page you should go on their Instagram page because you have to follow them as well part of the rules and for this competition on windsurfing tv you have to be a member like these absolute legends they've supported the channel this week so they will be able to enter the competition just have to support the channel in the last year which helps us make the videos and pay for editing and do stuff and go around um, and it also gives you a little bit of bonus where you can win some stuff there will be another competition though so stay tuned to instagram because that you won't have to be a member of windsurfing tv that is a free for all as many people can enter that one as you like so if you're a member of windsurfing TV, you get two chances to win a board and there are two boards to give away. We're going to give away a production board. These beauties, yeah, one of these. And we're going to give away a custom board. Um, the final details of who gets what will be explained at a later date. But you can enter right now. So get on it. Okay, without further ado, the last video of this week's show. We're going over to Cape Verde. And this is the son of the legend that is Josh Angulo. This is Noah Angulo. Now, do you guys remember your first back loop? What do you mean, I haven't done a back loop, Ben? Well, okay, the guys that have, I know there's not that many people that have, but how long did it take you? Week? Month? Year? Years? Cut off. It's a difficult move. Well, Noah said to me, you know what, Ben? I've been thinking about it for a long time and I finally got the balls to go for it. And it wasn't actually that bad. So he had a few attempts. So yeah, he sent me a few attempts. I'm looking through the videos, guys, pretty good. I'm reading through the email. So I did four hours of crashing. Oh, it was a nightmare. And then I got one. <laughs> I was like, what? Four hours and he gets a back loop. Well, he is the son of Josh Angulo. Do you want to see it? Of course you want to see it. Let's have a look at his back loop. Yes, four hours. Uh, of course, that noise is going to come out of your mouth. You never know what that noise is going to be. Could be a woo, could be a yeah, could be anything. When you land your first back loop, something will come out. <laughs> Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Top skills, mate. Keep us posted. Uh, I want to see a dry one next. Yes, I do. Okay, so that's it for this week's show. There's only one thing left to say, that no matter where you are in the world, don't forget to send it.